Hello there everyone, welcome back to Old World Blues A to Z series, which we're playing as Lone Star. Or really the story of Lone Star. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, or Mr. Texas Lover, but the bloomin' Yellow Rose. Stations from Lone Star to Dallas have been abuzz with the proclamation of the 23rd century. A Texan Economic Union, formerly Confederation of Allies with the, or with the Texas Brotherhood and Lone Star, and as, as its central members, has unified into a single centralized state. Such growth always has its pains, but the news has been received well from citizens across the Union. Nearly everyone seems to believe that a brighter rose will soon bloom. The drafting of a new constitution is already underway, with the powers of beef promising to abide by the will of the people and laying the foundation of the new home. Have you heard the news? So we get a new focus tree, which I was correct. In the new Texan state, we'll inherit all generals, field marshals, admirals, troops, technology, and most national spirits from Lone Star and the Texan Brotherhood, if they're still part of the Texan Economic Union. We have an opportunity to continue the policies of each nation, and set out the future of the Republic. You get an ownery people. Oh god. Not ideal. But. Oh, mobile assault weaponry. Motorization. vault -Tec power armor. Look at all the stuff we don't have researched. They're looking pretty good. But what are we going to start with? Take and stock. The reformation of the Republic of Texas has long been a dream of many within Lone Star and the Texan Rangers. Now it's finally the last reality. Before we blindly stumble to unified future, however, we must take stock of our current situation. Oh, so what do we got here? Eh, it's not bad. Yeah, not too shabby. Um, we got more military factories, which is nice. Dynamite, we're going to be replaced with flamethrowers. vault -Tec armor, doggos. Hey, I'm glad I didn't research doggos. Um, well, I don't know if I really want to use vault -Tec power armor. We'll, we'll do it for now, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, Traveling attackers are good. We'll only need 15 here, at least. Um, we definitely need more radios. Get up two here. Make sure you have two... Uh, that's fine. Weaponry, squad automatic weaponry. Go at least ten for now. You can be at the bottom though, uh, for that. Ah, uh, do that mission. There you go. All right. What else we get? What else we got here? Oh boy. What other types of divisions we got here? Let's see. Rapid response group. No. Power armor potentially. Infantry template. Twenty combo with anti-air. Twenty combo with what we've been using. What? This inf? No, that's what we wanted to use. We've been using uh, Rabbit Response Course, which actually I'm kind of glad we did get these infantry templates. Um, we'll probably end up using this one, because this is still going to cost us things anyways. Demos and fire teams. Demos, fire teams. This is the one we're going to use. Infantry Template 7. Text and infantry. That's the one we should all use here. So, that being selected. Oh, crap. As much as I want rapid response cores. Text and infantry. Oh, good god. Motorized divisions. Oh, that's gonna take a while to do, isn't it? Well, that's alright. You guys are old templates. Uh, I'm gonna separate you up for now. Roller girls. I'm sure we got another general here, don't we? Trash M. Choi. Employee. Uh, level 5, so let's go with Life Giver. This guy. You're going to be an infantry. Good. Um, you know what? Before we continue on, I do want to see. Do we get advanced power armor? Power armor. No, we don't. So we can do Rusk's plan, Bang's plan. Keats' plan, Scarlet's plan, Todd's plan. Interesting. Well, we'll come back to that in a little bit. So it doesn't look like we can get any power armor. How about any armor at all? No armor. So we're not going to use power armor in this campaign. I love power armor, but you know sometimes you just you just don't. What land doctrine are going? I'll be honest. There's a little bit of time between this episode and the last one. So we've been going down conventional as a Texan Brotherhood of Lone Star, formed the Provisional Republic of Texas. Great. We went conventional warfare. We'll probably go asymmetric next. Um, I only do flex uh, refined. We're not doing robots, but we're refined only with advanced power armor. And asymmetric, I kind of think we should do that one. As much as I want to do law keepers, I think that'd be really cool for uh, platoons. We already went down trooper warfare for everybody. Um, I might go legion. Ancient tactics? Wasteland tactics. Hmm. Enforcer. Of course, we do get enforcers. Army recovery rate, but army breakthrough. 
We could use... Uh, walking Infantry does... Uh, maybe we'll go away some tactics. You know what? We might just do that instead. I've been convinced. Thank you for convincing me already. Uh, oh. Some of these guys are encircled? Oh. And you guys are what? Template 6? Well, you know what? The rest of you guys, just go here. The rest of you guys go here, too. Rioters, do anything special about you guys? You're eight. Um, you know, I'll go then. It's fine. You guys, five divisions of this entry template. There you go. Twelve divisions of this group. Radio killers as well. Should have about a slight bit more infantry, rioters. Uh, let's keep that just in case. Motorized, 12 combat width. Oh, there, recon. Do these guys have recon? No. So, it's cheaper to do that one. Uh, motorized infantry. No. Oh, world of change. The world as we know is changing fast. Not but a few decades ago. Lone Star is a prosperous and peaceful trade settlement, and the Texan Rangers were unified with their brother to kin against the raiders that roamed Texas. Now everything has changed. The provisional Republic of Texas, once a dream of naive optimists, is a reality. The two nations of Lone Star and the Texan Rangers are standing unified beyond the common beliefs of freedom, prosperity, and democracy. There are important decisions ahead. Our flag? Our budget? Matters of state? Well, our flag. The image of a state is nearly as important as the state itself. This design of a flag will speak volumes on who we are as a people. There are flags who are high no matter how it looks. Anything here? Old school tactics. Military council. I kind of want to do military council because I never choose that one. Directors, outposts. Uh, elected officials seem more democratic than me, but starting defense, logistics. Army intelligence to others. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like getting penalized for this stuff. Go, go, go. That's fine. Um, anything we really care about here? Sure. Uh, okay, many things we want to keep that on. Open, restore Red River Army Depot? Sure. Oh, we can do this one too anyways. Settle the people down? Probably not. Uh, waste some tactics. Nuclear mastery. We're doing pretty well. We can get another research slot too. Or do we want another one? Hmm. Play get the followers. Optimize trading. Invest increase your political power. Close out of industry. Ministry of war. Close out of these. Oh, rebuilding Lone Star. Oh, look at all that stuff. Texas budget. The last Texan constitution required the state to balance its budget every year, never spending more than receiving taxes. But Cho Bang has proposed a new republic to take a much more aggressive approach to make sure the Lone Stars are so big and bright. Nice. Now we do have a cup of uh, green tea here. Something I've not had in a while. Of course, it'll be nice and warm. The question of the flag. While some question spending time debating a, a flag as hordes of robots menace Texas across the Rio Grande, the Provisional Congress wants to debate the issue. Texas had many flags, the flag of Spain, France, Mexico, the two flags of the Republic, the American flag, the Confederate flag, the American flag again, the flag of the city of Lone Star, and the flag of Addis' super mutant army that scoured the waste until the Brotherhood of Steel showed up. We must decide which of the reasonable choices we'll use for the restored Republic. First flag nobody remembers, Lone Star of the Waste, right? This flag looks Texan, right? This is a Chilean flag, I believe. Let's use a Texan flag we can still find in the ruins of Dallas. The first flag that nobody remembers, Lone Star of the Wastes. You know what I'd like? I, I think I said this when I first played this uh, group years ago. Is if they could pop up a little image of what it actually looks like. To see what it looks like first before we choose anything. Uh, can't choose a confederate flag. Um, the Texan flag we can still find in the ruins of Dallas. The first one that no one remembers? What's that one? Is that it? Yeah, that might be it. Not a big deal. I'll keep it though. Let's see you guys are up there which is fine. I can't get rid of these guys. You guys are fine. You know what, since we're here. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. You guys are gonna stick down here too, just in case these guys want to get a little uppity. And before I forget, we still have two ships. So, Jerome, Ben. Well, welcome aboard, Jerome. Alright. What are you guys? Twin combat with? Boom, boom, boom. 
front of the beast. Wow, oh, he's level 7 defense? Holy crap. That's uh, pretty strong. Unit 5, just going to become a local leader. Maybe we'll use it. I don't know. We'll at least life giver for now. Let's see. Well, let's leave it open for now. Columbus Coast Guard. Yeah, not bad. Cool. Are we lacking anything here? Uh, lots of radios. A little bit of fire team weaponry. But what else is new? Um, yeah, we go that way for now. Go that way for now. Uh, yeah. Seems about right. In the long run, one of the biggest debates is the shape of the new republic. There are those who see Texas as a stronger defense pact to keep the Legion of Santa Ana at bay. They prefer to live the power of the state government and mandate it only as spend what it collects each year. That would make the state government much more dependent on what the towns of Texas support, but Joe Bank is to advocate a centralized Department of Finance that can run de deficits and sell bonds to fund growth. As Joe Bank puts it, in the long run this may perhaps cause problems, but in the long run we're all dead. And if we can't afford to fight Santa Ana Landis, that will be a problem in the short run. Limit national spending? Buy Texas victory bonds. I kinda like that idea. Matter to the state, and the state needs a head like everything else. We need to make a very simple choice, who's going to lead us into the future, who's going to take responsibility? I don't know, we'll see. Here, let's build. Uh, that's a trade no done there. Oh god, yeah, occupied territories are uh, interesting, to say the least. Circle of steel, well. Really making me think of hospital intelligence there. Could be Texan Rangers, but still. Uh, following the establishment of the Texas Provisional Republic, elections were held across the newly integrated territories to determine the leader of the nascent state. As ballots were counted, one, state, one candidate came out on top. Then Attaché, eh, that might be, might be worth it. Joe Bang to lead us. Rusk for Texas. Um, I don't know which one I chose. Joe Bang. Measured in wealth. Assassin's City. Pecos Colony. Market expansion. I like market expansion. Rusk's plan sounds like fun too, though. The liberal state, patrolmans, spread freedom. We could, but I don't want to release anybody. I really don't. I'll probably go with Cho Bang. Yeah. I like Brusque, but we gotta go with Cho Bang. Our capital. Every grand nation needs a grand city to be governed from. Even if we value individual freedom, the shiny city on a hill will be the proud beacon to which all our citizens look. Old World Conscription. Oh, Old World Conscription. Uh, must be following true. Original country's Alamo chapter. Alamo chapter does not exist. But in all honesty, that seems to make the most sense. Lars Mundo, welcome aboard. Uh, anything else here? General Atomics, not bad. Electronics here. H&H &H Tool Company. You know what? I don't mind that one either. Cultural Simulation. Uh, and they're here. That help with the research. Help solve itself. The question of our capital. Yet another choice to be made, a privilege most would think. Where shall we settle the seat of power? Where shall we govern Texas? Which city shall become a beacon of spreading wealth and freedom? Do not have time to make a critical choice. Our first set of state will be sung into history books, as well as determining the opening plays of our nation. Dallas, the largest old city, old world city in Texas. Lone Star, the new world boomtown. Uh, since this is Lone Star, we're going to go with Lone Star. Um, that just makes sense to me. Yeah, just a couple of vehicles, that'd be nice. How much money do we have? Not bad. That's pretty good. And to the lock. Goodbye. What a shame. Motorized infantry, huh? Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Probably not gonna use it anyway, but still. So. Well, we did it. Good. Field hospital's nice. Very nice.
I guess it would be smart to throw this stuff on all of the guys now. Smart enough, I guess. Fire base, fire teams, yeah, we're gonna be out of a lot of equipment here. Happy guys to like Texan infantry and shove you somewhere, <laughs> maybe. Can I have you guys from this? No, okay. At least we got half of them done. Two left. Interesting. And what do you have? Fight the power, junk arounds. You know what? We're gonna go with the uh, personality. Ferocious loyalty. You can be another Grundle. Sure. For now. We don't have to be Grundle. We can do Luna Stitches or whoever else we have here. Russell Butler. We're on level two. Well, I guess at this point, you need to be inspirational. You know what? And life giver. Life giver is always really good to do. Survival sense isn't great. It's not bad. Still, we don't know really evade too much either. Bang's plan. Bang makes a persuasive point. Flourishing people will base itself around prosperity as well as the Lone Star's model. Our great societal innovation will be wealth unlike that's ever seen before in the wasteland. Cool. Oh, we're going to do this. Please go ahead. Boom. Many nukes. Nobody will stop us soon. This is Texas. Nuclear energy. Joe Bang, a captivating speaker, and I can make know-how, radical reformer, and stealth defender. Joe Bang was a lone star, as no stranger to the ways of Texas. Having grown up on the outskirts of Albaline, Joe Bang was quick to learn the ways of trade and a lifelong in this place. So, yeah, his economic know-how. Seems like Rusk would go with this route. Maybe we'll go with energy, nuclear energy. You know what? We'll go with that. We can we can manipulate that with the nuclear energy to make money off of it. I like that idea the most. Well, let's get a new operator here. Oh, hello. I guess we had spies, huh? Captured by the patrolman. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hire someone else, not too new. How great. And the Fallout City. Oh no, no longer getting stuff from increasing our power. Oh no, whatever will we do? Oh no. Contact loss. Oh, come on. Do better. Oh, we more have to Well, there's an easy way to do that. Go here. Buy stuff. If you can. There you go. Yay, we did it. Hey, final expedition. We're out of things. Anti tank. Wow. We are really lacking a lot of stuff here. Complicated circuitry is nice. It's a lot of time, but I don't care. Refine tools, and I guess scrap shacks, because why not? We should core more stuff, too. Nice. Alright, so that's all on that side. The Constitution. It probably would give us more political power and whatnot. Bill of Rights. Form the TBR. Schemer should control. Ooh. Or we just go to war with them anyway. 75 days. Wow, that's a long time. 75 days? 15? Yeah, that's fast to go to war that way. Matters of war. Oh, former Department of Defense. Texas Defense. Oh! Texas Defense Bureau. Well, okay. Hey, more political power gain. Not bad. The mercenary model. The deputy model. Current mobilization will be changed to reflect this. Deputies for deputies. Deputies for deputies for deputies. The mercenary model. Mercenary front lines. Manifest destiny. Ooh. So if you go with this route, you can get both all of these if you really want it, but we don't have to. It's how roll those times. Hey, it's not bad. From the TBR. The bounty of Texas is great and both underutilized. Now that we've got something of a steady grip on the territories, we should make a dedicated section of government that can rebuild our fledgling state. Followed up with security control. 
Mission Control on the ruined city of Houston used to be the living heart of the American uh, space program. While I won't be going to the moon anytime soon, we can possibly launch a few satellites in the atmosphere if we own the state. It's very true. Two beds. Two beds aren't necessarily opposed to some principle, but they hold one of the most valuable powers in the wasteland, the ability to project influence via radio. It's become clear they aren't giving up without a fight, so let's give them one. Uh, the gas flow, Carthage's raiders may wish to stay out of text, but how can we really control the last natural gas field in their hands? Mission control. And then clear the way. Shipping by rail will never be safe until the raiders have all been cleared out, and it'll never be efficient until we can secure a favorable route for the lines. And seize the Louisiana Harbor. Our current ability to project naval is less than ideal. Well, this isn't a problem now. It could quickly become one if we're engaged by naval power in the Gulf. The first place we could use to remedy this is the impressive wharfs and shipyards of Bayou Motors. No, why not? Why not? I'm not going to touch a plane situation. I like where the planes are at right now. Sure, why not? Yeah, we can use the planes. Boop. 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 At least every every group needs to have some sort of planes. Boop. 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 Now do the best you can. We're getting a lot of army XP, ain't we? Wow. Yeah, it depends on online. That's good. Uh, I assume we're going to probably be in the desert a lot. Or plains. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Shobang, veteran warrior leadership. Forestry battle and hardship. These strong words are fit to lead our men into battle. Elected officials. They're voted in. I guess it counts for something. A strategy know a book. Old books and old knowledge of many battles throughout history. We can put this wisdom to good use against our enemies. Well, we're elected officials. We'll start with that one. We'll be nice for now. Boop. And propaganda efforts. Labs. Scientists for our labs. Ah, let's go do it anyways. Well, Texas is here, and Texas is ready to take over Texas again. Clear the way. Yeah, I'll take some light machine guns. Can we actually win here? Kaza's Legion declared one of the NCR. Alright then. We're looking pretty good so far. That's not without our casualties, of course, but still. Uh, I think we're done with that. Oh! Oh, wow! Unity of Austin actually died a shale. They were doing so well. Well, can't always win, I guess. And we'll also like integrate some of these guys too with each other. Because some of these guys definitely are not ready for prime time yet. But it's good for army XP, which I do like a lot. Just political power because we can. Um What do what do we need to really? And a circle went on the right. I would like it if we could like actually like demand subjugation where we just straight up annex them. Or say no, because, you know, we're reforming Texas. Maybe Houston actually did want to come join us. You know, you never know. Um, so, Unity of Austin, Ironmongers, and Show's Army. What a kawinky dink. got done with that war and then they wanted to be in probably another war I assume we 
know what's bothering me right now? The Texas infantry icon. I don't want that for Texas. I start at the bottom. Let's work the way up. Nope. It's a P. I need T for Texas. TVT? Two hundred fifteenth, huh? Thirty eighth. I'm tempted to do this one right here. That seems more Mexican. Oro Blues, pretty cool. Uh, Enclave E. Yeah. <laughs> Pickle Halba. Okay. We do what we must. Give it a couple seconds. Uh, keep building ourselves up. Man rifle territory. Sure, we'll do both. Oh, they see it. Even Ejercito Mexicano does the same thing. Huh. You never know how it's going to work. You really never know. Um, we're going to do this one next. We can still beat the crap out of them. Nice. So they ceded that territory. Do they see anything around here? Doesn't really look like it. I mean, obviously, and us, this is a good distraction for them down here, too. Because they'll just enter and be like, hey, what are we doing here? Oh, good, good job, special forces. Los is in now too, they're attacking us, that's fine, whatever. Don't really care, we just need to go five divisions, six divisions. Hey, Houston, you're back on line, thank God. We love money. God, I don't never have enough money. They may attack us again, they may not, we'll see. Back him straight in the rear. Very good job, guys. Recon two, recon three, advantage in right doors. Yes, please. Oh, you guys doing okay around here? Failed successor. Nice. Didn't have to attack uh, Los. Oh, I guess we did attack Los, but the Matron. So I guess, no, it was Los. They didn't really have to attack. I mean, that would have been a lot more casualties, a lot of equipment lost, but nothing. So, that's what I'm thinking about. Boop. Still nothing there. Okay. Nice. They still own tech scores. Ooh. San Marcos. It's alright. And then we'll do what? Assassin Cities. Uh, Pecos Colonies. I'll go here. It's in the post-war system of a market economy anyways. The adaptable nations survive, and all those stagnant resistance to change are crushed by the wastes. Makes sense to me, man. Makes perfect sense to me. Got more than enough manpower from here on out, probably. Mm -hmm. Why not? Great propaganda, cultural assimilation. Uh, you know what? We could hurt ourselves a little bit. 50 army XP for this. Hurt stack and defense. Screw it, why not? I never choose that one. Gotta live a little, right? Let's see, funded radio broadcasting. Very nice. Cool. And up here with this one, oh come on, they, they hit our teams. We're going to go with Asymmetric Warfare. Beautiful. So that's the case. You guys are going to be the ones finding out the waterway here. You 26 divisions should be able to rough them, rough them up. Alright, if you really want to help out too, I guess. I think a good end goal would be take out most of Mexico, if not all of Mexico. Take out, uh. 
Santa Ana. Maybe take out the NTR. Perhaps. You know, we gotta have goals. In real life and in game. Because if you don't have goals, what are you, what you doing? You know, really. What you doing? Yes, power plants, very nice. Want to fighters. Um, biplanes. Wait, do we have another type of plane here? I don't see another one. Biplanes. Oh, monoplanes. Duh. I can, I can totally see what's going on here. Now I'm totally not losing it right now. All right, we should probably work, keep working our actual equipment that we use. Falls in, what a shame. Mm -hmm. Ambush supply routes, that would be bad, organized supply lines. Uh, let's see, fight for freedom, this is Texan. This sounds very Texan. This is our land, we'll keep, keep uh, and fight it that, okay, that, we'll fight to keep it that way. No raiders, no warlords, no gov government's gonna change that. It doesn't really benefit us at all. But well, I wouldn't choose it anyways, because we're Texans. And over here, you know, I said we wanted this stuff too, so. Uh, we'll probably go with the uh, warrior equipment. Yeah, we gotta get through these guys first. Well, let's wait until this thing is done and over with. Increasing our state, 22. Yeah, I got about another month, that's not bad. Not great, but whatever. Um. Because then we want market expan- oh my god. Market expansions? Oh, we, we lose it anyways. We could have chosen Rusk anyways. Oh crap. The executives, 1,000 manpower. We get money instead, and more manpower, which is actually probably not bad. Market expansion, the best market is the large market. Well, spur investment and innovation, encouraging even poor villagers to take positions in our shock markets. Measured in wealth. The largest factor in success is the presence of wealth in the nation. Constant comparison of ourselves to our neighbors will help us guide our power, as well as plan for the future. And invasive capitalism. The accumulation of wealth will be the single measure of success. Competition is king in the market and will drive that competition into every aspect of Texan life. Building a meritocracy un unlike anything seen before. Oh, good. That's looking pretty good. We've got a good old chunk of Texas done, but not enough yet. We're getting there, though. There we go. Good. Uh, Pecos Colony. And this one is Assassin's City. Oh, the patrolmen are here. How long will it take anyways? 145 days? Eh, that's a bit too long. Let's go with Choctaw. Bakos, you're by yourselves. Texas Economic Development Zone. Hmm. Well, we're just gonna wait first. Last lodge, we got one thing. You know what? We got another army there. Can you guys do it by yourself? It's gonna be a real test for them. How are we getting so much every single day? 0.57. That's just insane. I love it, don't get me wrong. But still. What do we got here? Economic advisors, urban planning, slave trader, Daisy Roth, gene trader, union financier, expedition leader, sly merchant, no. I don't really like any of these guys. It's forging, that's good. Armor Harding is also very good. Just a double check too. I twenty patrolman. Oh, you need something else here. Well, I don't want to slow him down. I would like fire base, but that would really just slow him down. Mobile logistics, okay, logistics, but mobile logistics doesn't actually hurt your recovery rate. Gives you a lot more initiative though. Hurt your armor though. Gives you actually a little bit more armor. More breakthrough soft tech. You know what? I'm going to actually do power armor support. It's going to be different because I normally never ever choose this, but I'm choosing it because we are part of, from the former Brotherhood of Steel. So, let's 
makes more sense now. Mobile cams would not be bad to get either. So can you hand, handle it by yourself? Oh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Boop, boop. Are you gonna crumble? You might actually crumble. Okay, never mind. Uh, where is that? Eh, you know what? That's that's an easier to replace. Get moving, y'all. Man, these guys are getting slammed really hard. Good. Artillery is good. Demo teams are good. Smart defense in general is good. Crap. Well, in basic capitalism, uh, oh, build a trans Texan uh, trans Texan line. The landscape is dotted with old metal spines of what used to be an incredibly complex and durable network of rail lines. One well, we may not be able to capture that mile we are. Uh, uh, with an overall existing lines or lanes, the construction of new ones, we can certainly pay homage to it. There you go. There you go. Mouth, mouth. It was really changed. Planes yet? Oh, well, got some. Not many though. Not what I really want. I should be able to do this. We've lost what? 224 versus 700, 800 some odd? Not bad. Especially with the infantry down here. It's fine, we got time. Man over bullets? Well, military council seems like the one we do. The military council prominent leaders in the nation put together to think of ways to deal with the enemy. Sure, why not? We need a little bit more air XP too. So where are we with factories and whatnot? We need more resources actually. Oh boy. Uh, what else we got? Cultural advisor. We already have Morris Hamilton, Burn Texas is down, Political Mastermind, Night Swallows, Brother Scribes, Texan Pride, Decorated Hero, Self Sufficient Statesman, Head in the Clouds. Well, we're definitely going to go with the Political Mastermind. Self Sufficient Statesman, Texan Pride. Pride seems more like it for us. Measured in wealth. Uh, the largest factor of success is the presence of wealth in the nation. Constant comparison of ourselves to our neighbors will help us gauge your power as well as plan for expansion. I can never remember whether I've actually read or not. I'm sure Manfred is lost. Lost. Last log check. No. Okay, they're out. Is there any damage you do? I know I'm being very inefficient with this stuff, but still. There we got it. Turn your kits better. Good. Right, the control gear is good. Sure, we'll do it anyways right now. Fine. Uh, we could do that, but we don't have to. Nice. Uh, we're going to go with more attack. Traders to Ching. 
Well, we definitely circled our way around here a little bit. We lost a few thousands, alright. It happens. I think she's finally doing the part two, which is good. Good. Oh, we're gonna need a lot of this. I have a lot of the vision still. Oof. Do that. I could cut off Vernon. For everyone else. Other tactics. Ooh, well, that'll make it nicer to take them out later, I guess. Maybe. Oh boy. You know, let's go with waste on tactics. Waste on knowledge. It's a very inefficient way of doing this. Incredibly inefficient. Well, special, their special forces will die. But as we got time to go. How did you find nothing? Refurbished old satellites. With mission control in our grasp, we can start dusting off some of the dust. Oh, well, I guess that's what you do when you dust. Um, let's see. Dust off some of the old satellites that have been preserved and stored since the war. Whether GPS and any spy satellites will give us an unmatched edge on the battlefield. Yeah. There you go. My bad. It doesn't matter, we'll do it anyways. And we're gonna wait for the more special forces. Oh, so we can probably just go in. Boop, boop, boop. Honestly, there's only two divisions over here. You're probably gonna win in the end no matter what, anyways. Just saying. Businesses. Really smooth. Lock and load. Gochinski. Eh, let's lock and load. Why not? We're still using ballistics here. Happy August, everybody. Hey, it says we got off. It's good. It's not that everyone's moving in, though. Not as good. And... Matters of War. Speak softly and carry a big stick. Or, better yet, a shotgun. Yeah. Smoke grenades are good. Scrap. Let's go ahead. Should be okay. Recon. Level cams. A range for everybody, man. That's taking a while to do, isn't it? Texan Air Force Academy. Master, the sky is not far away. Young children across Texas now look to the skies, praying for the day they might join the ravens that circle above their schoolhouses. We're getting there.
Oh, there goes Santa Ana. Well, it looks like the Republic of the Rugrand are the ones we're going to fight eventually. Water really sucks. There you go. Again, Ruby next. Cool. Good. And we need all the lands, Bayou Motors as well. So, national flight schools, or shows. Engaging the populace in our skyborne dreams could lead to an ever, even greater interest in our programs. We'll show off our best pilots, impressing your citizens, and striking fear to the enemies. Why not? Mm, we could. Refurbish all satellites? Heck yeah. Regular shack markets and whatnot. Pulse code modifications are good. Go ahead, vehicles, broadcasting. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's gonna be a big war. Drop tanks. One more defense for our guys. It's fine. So we're done with this page, it's pretty good. Anything else here? Sure. Resources. Uh, doesn't really matter. Naval stuff is good. Oh. Go ahead, guys. Snipers, you build the gas fields. Now that the raiders are out of the way, we can begin the refurbishing of the Carthage gas fields, supplementing our own power supplies with hefty natural gas income. Oh, we're actually not doing so well here. Vehicles, um, planes, kind of civilized techs. Research speed. We don't need more research speed, so I'll take it. Better walking recovery rate. Uh, urban planner, expedition leader. Good. Wrap them up here. Four hundred versus a thousand. They're completely surrounded. You gotta finish them off, guys. Even though I'm sure fighting the boonies down here would be god awful. Absolutely terrible. All right, so there they go. Republic of the Rio Grande wants territory. Well, this is actually really bad for us then. Well, what territories are they demanding? We could say no for now. There's no waterway up here, so be all the way through here. We could return this and then go to war them later. You know what? You can have it first. They're next. Or whoever's up here next. That's fine. Let's go in. Just beat the crap out of them if you possibly can. Build the gas field. Texas calling. Radios, telephone lines, broadcasting, and amplification stations. All parts of what could be a widespread, a wide ranging chain of information and infrastructure spanning the whole of Texas.
Carter Gansfield, oh yes. That should be dropping here pretty pretty fast, in all honesty. If that's a case, you know what? I wanna leave you guys here. So let special forces deal with it. Why don't you go right here? Of course we could go to war these guys too. Hmm. So after war ban, whatnot. Deal with these guys first, I guess. As long as Legion doesn't come calling. There you go. Let them let them think that they can win here. Struts, spine, academia. Inert lifting gas, whatever. It's fine. Only oh, several thousand of them have died, that's all. Can you win here, maybe? That'd be pretty sweet if you could. Texas calling. Start shipping in the Gulf. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico's unique uh, shape, hello, uh, will give us an unrivaled ability to trade with the nations all along the coast. Should we have sufficient facilities to house and produce seafaring cargo ships? All right, we gave you stuff once. What do you want now? Stability. That's what we want. Uh huh. Yeah, no, that's it. Okay, we're done. We're done playing nice here. U9. Are there any border, water borders? There, you have that one. Because we're going to need 26 for all this. Definitely 26. 6. That much right there. Well, kind of like that. They need to even have to go out there. So you have the water border. I need you to hurry up. Sand rock. B20 are right there. We need another 10 right there then. quick see what happens hopefully we can hold off but maybe we can't I don't know we'll see nothing we do about that there build more labs new text and broadcasting service better political power better just for world's times nice daily compliance gain too it's awesome let's see if we can hold them off are they fighting someone else too? They might be. They might not be. They're not. Elder Miller. Oh, you guys. Valentino Rosario. Our guys really aren't very good, are they? They would definitely have some planes to use against us. Hmm, war support's good. Stop some settlements. Eh, we could definitely do. Wilderness survival training. Medical degrees are nice to have. Even more research speed. Starship in the Gulf. And commemorative Air Force. 
Texas has a proud history, and what better I remember it than through our air warriors. Let's remember our great battles all while striving towards new victories. Don't mess with Texas. All in the name, baby. Our army's guns aren't just quite enough sometimes. Where's our oversized and overpowered fighters come in? Form Texas Defense Bureau. While an army will do plenty for us, an intelligence bureau might help us protect us from more invisible threats. A lone assassin could deal more damage than army mutants, and be fools that don't look past the danger of either. Form a Department of Defense. Uh, the first clamor of our people will always be a safety and security. An army by the people for the people will help calm their fears. And eventually we'll do a mercenary model. We've been lucky to inherit the economic prowess of Lone Star, meaning we're best off hiring mercenaries in a similar fashion and manifest destiny. The people of the lands around us cry for help. Oppressed by maleficent savages and cruel masters, we have a duty to help them and ourselves. But I think about it there. I'll deal with these guys a little bit a little more off screen and then we'll keep pushing on and see if these guys are actually going to try to kill us. Uh, over here from the uh, good old Republic of the Rio Grande. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, where it looks like Kaiser's Legion is going to beat the crap out of the NCR. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.